from Sage and Endicott. This is going to be part B of the CDLA pre-trip. We're going to start with our driver door mirror. It is securely mounted and there's no cracks or damage to it. The door, it opens and closes properly. On the inside, we'll check that our hinges are in good condition. The door seal is in good condition. It's not cut. And we have three grab bars to get ourselves inside the truck. Coming down, we have our side light. It is clean, clear, and unbroken. Our batteries and battery box. They're securely mounted. There's no corrosion on the terminals. All the terminals have tight connections to the cables, and none of the cables have exposed wires. Our steps, they're securely mounted, and they're free of any debris. Moving to the back of the cab, it has no dents, no holes, and there's the proper DOT reflective tape at the top. Coming down, we're gonna go to our catwalk next. The catwalk is securely mounted and there's no debris on it. Working from the farthest side of the truck towards myself, we're gonna inspect underneath. Down here, we have our exhaust. It is securely mounted with no black soot, which would indicate any leaks. Beside it, our drive shaft is securely mounted with serviceable U-joints. There is no cracks, no bends, and there's no debris wrapped around it. At the back of our drive shaft is our torque bar. It is securely mounted with no cracks, bends, or any other damage. Coming out next, we'll inspect our frame. There is no cracks, no bends, has no illegal welds, no aftermarket holes. Our fuel tank is securely mounted. There's no cracks, no dents, no leaks underneath. And for Pennsylvania students, we'll take the cap off and show that it has a safety chain and an O-ring. Moving backwards, we have our mud flap. It's securely mounted and wide enough to cover both duels. From here, we're gonna inspect in order our suspension, our brakes, and our tires. Between the duels is gonna be the easiest place to see all of these components. Starting here, we have our shock absorber. It is securely mounted with no cracks and is not leaking. Our airbag is securely mounted with no abrasions, bulges, cuts, and it is not leaking. Our control arm hanger is securely mounted to the frame, has no cracks or any other damage. And secured to it is the control arm. There's no cracks, not shifted, and is secured to the axle with two U-bolts. Looking from the front of the tire to the back, we can start to see the beginnings of our brake system. We have our air hose, which has no abrasions, bulges, cuts, and is not leaking. The ABS wire is attached to it, is securely mounted on both ends, no exposed wires. They lead into our brake chamber, securely mounted with no cracks, no dents, and it is not leaking. From the back of the brake chamber, we have our push rod and slack adjuster. They're securely mounted together, no more than an inch of free play on them when our brakes are released. Looking inside the tire, we would inspect for our brake shoes that they are securely mounted with no cracks or damage, and they're not worn below a quarter inch thick. Also, we have our brake drums. They're securely mounted, no cracks or any other damage to them, and they are free of any grease, oil, or debris. Working outwards to our tire, we're gonna check our bud spacing, that there is no debris wedged within them. Our tire tread is worn evenly. They cannot be any less than 2 30 seconds of an inch of the tread depth, and these are drive tires, so they may be recapped. The sidewalls have no abrasions, bulges, cuts on them. They're not leaking. Our rim is securely mounted with no cracks or dents, has no illegal welds or aftermarket holes to it. All of our lug nuts are securely mounted and there is no shiny threads or rush trails which would indicate a loose lug nut. Our hub seal is securely mounted and there's no cracks or leaks in it. Our valve stem is centered in the hole, has a metal cap on it, and we would use an air pressure gauge to make sure that this tire is filled to the manufacturer's specification. And finishing off the back of the tractor, we have our rear mud flap. It is securely mounted, wide enough to cover both duels, and has the proper DOT tape reflective on it. Our tail lights, reverse light, and license plate light are all clean, clear, and unbroken. From here, we'll inspect the coupling of the truck and trailer. Our airlines are securely mounted to the trailer with flat hands. They have no abrasions, no bulges, and no cuts. Our electric line is securely mounted. It's a tab locked in place with a tab. There's no cuts, no exposed wires. All of the lines are not dragging on the catwalk and they're not tangled. 
Our catwalk, again, is securely mounted to the frame, has no debris on it. Coming back to our fifth wheel, we'll start with our trailer apron. The apron is securely mounted, there's no cracks or dents to it. Between the apron and the fifth wheel, there's no daylight, and our fifth wheel is properly greased. Coming down to our release handle. It is in means that the uh, locking jaws are around the kingpin. Coming down to our sliding fifth wheel, it is locked in place, pins are through the holes. And the whole fifth wheel assembly itself is securely mounted to the frame with the correct hardware. And finally, we'll come to the back of the tractor in the trailer to ensure that the locking jaws are wrapped around the kingpin. 